Hey guys, today I'm doing a video on how to make a $3 phone scope from two pieces of plumbing parts from Home Depot. Here's my receipt and the parts, whatever. I don't know the exact names what they're called. Minus my free snack that I got, but it's the top two dollar sixty-seven pieces. Uh, it's two inch PVC tubing. Here's the first piece you're gonna need to thread it in. This part here is what goes over your phone or your your eyepiece off your scope. Here's the barcode that's from it. What you're gonna do is just take this threaded piece fits right over your your eyepiece, and this is a Vortex razor, uh, twenty by. 60 and your next piece is going to go on here here's the next piece i'll show it to you see if i can find the barcode and this is the piece that your phones like you're going to have to basically designate a extra phone case for your phone to go in and out of because you're going to glue your phone case to the top of this so this piece is going to slide in here and then you're going to if if you're phone is my hand you're gonna glue it on here at like a 90 degree there and your your phone camera piece is gonna be centered right here in the middle of this hole but everybody's phone case and phone is gonna be different so you're gonna have to cut this piece generally about right here just enough you know probably eighth a quarter inch depending on your phone and then this piece here you're gonna cut probably right in you know the same thing eighth quarter and your phone may even take more than that it depends on the depth of it but so once you cut those two pieces you're going to put them back in there glue them together you're going to center your phone on that and this is what it's going to look like and it's kind of hard to tell painted but here's a threaded piece and the inside you can see i've cut that long piece right there say a quarter inch and then they don't make this piece this is the same piece now you can see this is a round flat piece there and then this is the new version and they didn't have it at home depot i made mine a couple years ago and it's worked flawless um and you can see this piece is a little thicker now but you're gonna have to play you have to cut and go depending on your phone but here's another look at mine i think this is iphone 6 and this is the spec phone case and then this is just a spare phone that we have but then you'll just you know Keep cutting, you don't want to overcut it. If you go too far, you're done. But just keep playing with your depth, put it in there, and once you get it on there, I mean, it mounts on there solid. There's nothing, it doesn't go anywhere. You just turn it on and plug it in and go. If you like this type of videos, uh, please like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, food plot, sorry, food plot reviews and brassica mixes that I run. Uh, I'm going to be doing several gun reviews. Also, make, um, turrets for my long range hunting scopes with a label maker so saves you about 60 bucks on theirs in just a few minutes of your time um anyway i'm a diy guy and we also make ozone machines like the same as ozonics and uh like scent closets and that stuff so if you're interested in that stuff just please leave it in the comments and like and subscribe and stay tuned there's more to come